We start seeing hearts everywhere for Valentine's Day, right? It's also Heart Disease Awareness Month. So we're using this as a jumping off point to talk about some groundbreaking studies at Yukon Health Center about a genetic link between cholesterol, heart disease, and infertility in women. Dr. Annabelle Rodriguez is from Yukon Health Center. She's joining me this morning. Good morning to you and thank you for coming in. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So first of all, you know, this is a great opportunity to remind everybody because every time I read this every year, it's like I'm seeing it for the first time. I always forget that, you know, heart disease is the number one killer of women. Yes. I mean, I think that we sometimes think it's breast cancer and rightfully right. so. So it's important to adhere to the mammogram recommendations. But heart disease is the leading cause uh, of death for women. And sometimes the symptoms are very different than what they are in men. My research has really been tackling the issue about the healthy cholesterol fraction. Explain that. Yes. So some years ago, a primary care physician referred a patient to me. I'm an endocrinologist, an expert on the studies of hormones. Um, so this uh, primary care physician asked me about this particular woman, a 52-year-old woman, and she said she has very high levels of the healthy fraction, H for HDL, mm -hmm. L for a little lousy cholesterol fraction. Oh, that's but, a good way of yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, that's one of the easier ways to remember <laughs> is when you're talking to your health care provider about it. L for lousy, lousy. H for healthy. Good. But good. she was wondering, is this healthy fraction protecting this patient? Um, and it turned out it wasn't. Her family history was very strong for heart disease and a sister and a brother. And so we really set out to ask the question, is it really true that having healthy cholesterol fractions always protects you from heart disease? And I think that's the critical word, always. And we found, in fact, that you can have variations in the gene for a cholesterol fraction of the healthy cholesterol fraction that actually can put you at risk for heart disease. So if people are hearing this at home and they're thinking, okay, I'm trying to follow along, what does this all mean for me? What can I do with this information? Because it's more than just uh, something we look at and worry about when it comes to infertility. We're talking about heart health for women of all ages, right? That's really right, because you're really talking about the continuum of a woman's life from the right. time she's a young girl, where it maybe changes going into puberty, because cholesterol is really important for making hormones. That's the connection between cholesterol and hormones. It's like a, a building block that you need it to make the female hormones. Yeah. So there may be problems getting through puberty. Later, she may have trouble through childbearing, going to the uh, physician wondering why I can't get pregnant. Was there something that I did? Was there a behavior that caused this? When, in fact, it could be a genetic cause that her cholesterol gene isn't helping her to make the female hormones. And then later in life, she has a high HDL and then gets congratulated by her health care provider because, oh, you've inherited this great healthy fraction, right. but it may not be helping you. And so we have a genetic test to help decide on do you carry a healthy fraction that protects you or perhaps a healthy fraction that doesn't protect you. Well, it's amazing research, and it's obviously led to this new test, and I'm sure there's more research to be done, yes, and who knows where absolutely. we'll end up at the end of this. Thank you so much, thank Dr. Rodriguez. Thank you for Rodriguez. having me. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.